Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here for today's video. I want to record something that is um, a little bit out of the usual range of topics covered here on my YouTube channel. Stuff like uh, camcorders, video editing software, Ubuntu, marketing. Not that that is even such a uh, narrow range, but um, something more professional, uh, professionally oriented for me. And that's the work I've been doing for the past uh, six months working with someone called Sir Ronald Cohen um, and working on advancing impact as a philosophy and as a totally new approach to doing business. Now, um, it occurred to me to record this video because I just uploaded yesterday a, a video review of a very uh, relevant and interesting new book in this field, Purpose and Profit by George Seraphim. Just uh, finished it yesterday. Highly recommend it. Um, for anyone looking to understand what impact entrepreneurship can look like and indeed and this is actually a genuinely impartial recommendation for uh, Sir Ronnie's book as well impact reshaping capitalism to drive real change that's now being translated into 10 languages worldwide so uh, even if you have colleagues or friends who may not speak English as their first language check if it's one of the translated editions now since I started this uh, work with Sir Ronald in February of this year uh, naturally when I go out to meet friends or you know family people ask well what are you doing what's your uh, what's your job Daniel what's your career what are you doing and um, I've been able to say communications for a while but uh, this particular uh, job brings with it the need to explain what impact is about and try to do it in the you know 30 second window before people start to uh, fall asleep when you're talking about your job in a so in a social setting so essentially I would put it like this impact is a, um, a fundamental change to the way that folks invest or do business that seeks to uh, take account of basically a business's holistic impact hence the word impact as well as just how how they're making money now another way to look at it is um risk and return have been guiding the guiding principles for capitalism for uh in the 20th century so before not super long ago there was a time when folks didn't engage in measuring risk when backing businesses and when that became an established discipline stuff like venture capital became an enormous thing and then we can just think about the various repercussions that have flowed from the rise of venture capital including uh, startups displacing you know a traditional the traditional um, kind of employment paradigm of these large blue chip companies that weren't super innovative and really VC has been the financial uh, bedrock that has backed the tech revolution so that's what impact is it's about um and I'll talk about the sort of goal of um, of impact investing as well in a little bit, but that's the basic idea. And to to simplify it, just consider this: you might have a company nowadays that is generating, let's say, five million dollars of profit a year, right? But what if they are a horrible polluter of the environment, and there, if if you if you were to quantify the costs of their operations to the environment in terms of carbon emissions. Um, and so on and so forth let's say that was you could value that at minus 10 million uh, pounds or dollars or whatever currency now under the normative system of accounting that we have in place today that would be that would be an externality that it would be up to the business if they want to report that perhaps in an ESG report they might disclose well this is our uh, this is how much we're damaging uh, the environment we aim to reduce it by x percent in this year and so on and so forth now impact goes a little bit further and it, the idea behind impact the big idea which is why i'm calling this video the big idea is to come up with a universal system for quantifying all these impacts extending beyond environmental social governance criteria but looking at all the holistic impacts of a business so if we were able to take the environmental damage of this a company let's call it an airline okay and we were able to actually come up with a system for quantifying that damage and offsetting the profitability in dollar terms of that airline against its environmental cost we might find that that airline is net negative right because again we said it's uh, generating profit of five million and damaging the environment to uh, to the tune of 10 million if we can find a way to quantify that uh, that impact so that's really the central idea of impact it goes beyond minimizing 
harm, which is to a lot, to, you know, what ESG has been traditionally focused on uh, negative screening and excluding, uh, you know, extractive industries, uh, the major um, the major polluting industries, etc. But actually going going beyond that and thinking, well, if we can quantify everything that a business does in monetary terms and that 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 huge enterprise is something called impact weighted accounting and um, a group uh, a working group that i've been involved in since starting to work with sir ronald is the impact weighted accounts initiative iwai commonly uh, abbreviated iway at harvard business school which is going to be becoming the or working alongside the ifvi the um International Foundation for the Valuation of Impacts. And this is an enormous undertaking to develop these methodologies that try to quantify all these impacts, whether we're talking about um, equal advancement and opportunity in the workplace, whether we're talking about environmental damage, and whether we're talking about the very, very complicated task of uh, calculating businesses' scope three emissions, which are the emissions and uh, impacts and consequences once called externalities and it's really a it's really a bad word in my opinion because it kind of says well you know these are the core things we want to focus on the profitability and don't these are the little things the external things in actual fact i don't think you know it's 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 irrational to consider effects on the planet to be mere externalities they're 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 they're, they're all of our problem um so that's the work of the uh, of impact weighted accounting, and uh, we've already seen from the data that they've been putting out and open sourcing, which is amazing. As a huge open source fan in the technology sense, that there is a correlation between profitability and impact. In other words, that companies that are already uh, polluting more and having greater negative impacts have lower valuations and of course that's easy to measure on uh, the stock exchange for publicly listed companies and the challenge will be to uh, to bring that down to the private uh, the private sector the non listed private sector and finding ways to uh, get the uh, the impact weighted accounting um, adopted by that sector and of course mandated by government so there's a huge amount of work um, in order for this revolution, the impact revolution to come to fruition. But that's the big idea, I would say, under today's normative system of financial accounting that's only been with us for 100 years, so it's not as baked in stone um, as some of us would like to believe. You can have a company that is causing colossal environmental damage, colossal damage to the world, but so long as it's profitable in sales terms, that com that that huge negative is not going to be reflected in its financial performance and uh, that is a huge lacuna or flaw in our current system i would say and it's that flaw that impact is trying to remedy and go beyond that in finding a new system for accounting that actually incentivizes and rewards companies that are going to create positive change so that you can't just do good um, for yourself you have to do good for yourself in terms of uh, running a profitable enterprise and do well for the world at the same time and uh, this is the idea really i guess is that when this system comes to fruition this grand master plan that we're going to have a new schema um in which uh you know once once this is entrenched the people are going to approach commercial opportunities through an impact lens we're going to say well this is you know th this is an underserved population this is a, a population that doesn't have access to clean water or education and that um, factoring those sort of things into the investment rationale is not just going to be a sort of nice to do thing for sustainably minded businesses this is going to shift to become normative investment and business practice so that is what i would call the big idea behind impact i think it's a really exciting space i think it's a really good space there is a ton of work needed to get from uh, where we are now and these kind of forward thinking companies highlighted in george's book to where we need to be in order to close the funding gap to meet the SDGs, the 2030 UN goals. Uh, but uh, this is the push that we hope is going to take us in that direction by fundamentally changing the system of capitalism 
and indeed business and entrepreneurship as we know it today. Hope that video has been useful if you're if you've taken an interest like me in this really interesting world of impact, uh, what it means and uh, particularly what distinguishes impact from ESG, a question a couple of friends have asked me about. Uh, then I hope this has been useful. Thank you guys as always for watching and if you want to get more videos from me, do click on that as uh, subscribe button and you will get them and wishing everyone a fantastic an enjoyable and restful weekend.